So I bring in all the wishes and greetings from Speed Medical Institute on behalf of all the faculty members to Dr. Preeti Nam Joshi for getting rank number four in any SS 2022 session in the specialty of DM endocrinology. Best wishes to you, Doctor. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So can we know a uh, uh, background history of Dr. Preeti from where she's coming from? Uh, what all happened in the medical career so far in a brief? <laughs> Uh, so, I'm uh, Dr. Preeti Namsoshi. I'm born and brought up in Mumbai. In uh, 2012, I joined uh, LTMMC, that is Lokmanya Tilak Municipal Medical College, Sion Hospital for my MBBS. And I graduated from there in 2018. And in my fresher attempt, I joined uh, MD Medicine at uh, Government Medical College, Nagpur. So, I've graduated in 2021. And uh, I gave my first attempt for INI in December that year, uh, December 7th exam. Uh, that time I had qualified, but I got a rank of uh, 70. And uh, this time I've qualified and got a rank of 4. Okay, great. Now, can we know what all you did? How many hours you spent per day? Were you working and reading or reading for full time? Yes, sir. Can you tell us so some was, about uh, yes, sir. So I joined after my uh, post-graduation, I joined uh, to my UG college to complete my undergraduate bond. And my so I joined as a senior resident in the Department of Medicine. And uh, simultaneously with that, I was studying. So every day it was variable depending upon the workload. Uh, I used to actually get up a little early, like around 5.30, 6 in the morning so that I got an early head start to the day because you can't control what will happen in the day and how much you'll get tired. So I used to start early, like 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock. I used to definitely give myself two hours to do the difficult concepts, the facts, the numbers of every topic. And then I used to work from, say, 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock, uh, OPDs and watch. And then after coming back home, come again, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, I used to sit till up till 10 o'clock. So this was my basic. And on a good day, if the work was light or if there was some government or bank holiday and if we got more time, then I used to put in more hours. I used, my aim was to give everything all the time I had till the exam to the exam so as much as the time that I got it was not like four hours or six hours or eight hours I, I never let myself get tired like that if I had time and if there was scope to study I would I would skip everything else and just just focus for this exam okay now uh, what were you doing in this time of preparation uh, were you reading books or were you watching videos or working on MCQ I, what is the methodology of preparation? So I was watching videos. Uh, I used to give at least four to six hours uh, every day to watch videos, revise through the videos because listening to the concepts was a very important because I realized that after giving my MD postgraduate exam, again, going back to Harrison was difficult. Like again, reading through those facts was, it was not very comfortable to go and read everything again. So watching the videos, I had made speed notes. So I used to keep the notes in front of me and I used to listen to the uh, like Dr. Manasa with her uh, video lectures, video tables on Harrison and uh, Williams. And uh, I especially would like to mention uh, Dr. Karthik, sir, because he was the one who introduced us to speed because we had joined this crash course. He was an introduction to how to prepare to uh, prepare for super speciality and what all is needed, what all is the core concepts that are needed. So, sir, Karthik, sir, then uh, Dr. Uttyo Gupta and Dr. Ranjan Palwe with his adrenal, their adrenal and thyroid concepts. I think he just he just simplified the entire uh, endocrinology, like the crux of endocrinology was simplified by them. And uh, along with the videos, I used to just look at my notes, I used to grasp the concepts again and again, again and again, what they were stressing upon. And uh, yeah, I think it's revision, 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 that's all. Like all the notes are there, everything, all the answers are in front of you. It's just that you have to read again and again. And you know, you have to stick, it has to stick in your head for that. Great. So how many questions did you attend the exam? I attempted uh, 75 questions. So uh, this time I think the statistics was too much in endocrinology and the general questions were like totally weird. That asked something about mechanical ventilation, some random general questions. But the endocrine part was from the notes. It was, it was not, it was not at all new or something. So endocrinology was easy. I think the general part was a little tricky. I attempted 75 and I got uh, 67.33 in my theory exam. Oh, great. So how was your uh, clinical exam that means interview? Uh, so AIMS interview was, uh, it was good. I, we were actually expecting a little more uh, clinical uh, scenarios. Uh, but uh, so it started off with an introduction. And uh, my thesis was related to endocrinology. It was about uh, DEXA scan and metabolic syndrome and osteoporosis. So we discussed a little about that and they asked me questions regarding that. And uh, they asked me about uh, sampling of uh, ACTH and PTH. 
and uh, management of hypoglycemia it was a very very chilled uh, it was like the first time i gave a very chilled interview in my entire uh, medical uh, exam uh, basically every time you are under so much stress and uh, but the interview was very nice it was very comfortable and uh, a very short and sweet interview excellent now what will be your advice to your juniors who are preparing for dm endocrinology my advice would be to stick to speed notes because everything and anything that you need related to endocrinology is in the notes so don't go for uh, you know like extra knowledge of those one or two questions that nobody knows the answers to it's it's not relevant to the rank and the scoring and standing in the exam one or two questions here and there nobody can predict but 99% of everything that is going to be asked in the paper is going to be from speed notes other than that general has to be read from harrison they asked very uh, main concepts like uh, ulcerative colitis and malabsorption from gastro something related to anemia in uh, hematology so they are not going to ask very uh, in depth topics of general medicine so harrison tables you need to keep revising make a schedule keep revising and speed and speed notes and speed uh, the tests that the grand tests that you have the ranking in that i think i had a rank of 4 or 5 in one of the last speed tests that i gave after that i was like okay if yeah if i have if i've got some if they've got this in speed i'm like okay this it, it gave me a lot of confidence you know that last one hour that aims people make you sit in the exam center without any books without anything you just you're just sitting in front of a blank computer screen so all these things keep coming in you know uh, what all your preparation was out of all of your good point in the preparation so i think all of this came to me that yes i i know i got a good rank in the speed test i was like i was telling myself be just be calm you do it you'll do it so i think it was it was a big factor you know positivity is a very big factor and one more thing i'm not from aims i have no relation to aims in ug or pg but uh, i think anybody and everybody who's determined to crack the ini will crack the ini so please don't have that mental block that uh, you know you're not from the delhi colleges or aims colleges so will you or not be able you know crack these exams but i think if you're determined and if you're really talented and you're really working hard with these concepts that speed provides you will definitely be taken by these institutes there's no there's no mental block to be holding hold you back very very nice doctor once again i, I wish you all the best and all the success As a Sir, great... I would like to really thank you for the Speed app and the Speed Institute, and also especially uh, the employees, like the technicians who you know who contact us for these exams, or uh, if we have any feedback, or if we can't find some video or anything. I mean, they're very helpful. They're instant in their replies, and uh, as such, the whole content that the app has, we don't have to go beyond the app to look for anything. The portion for the portion is so vast, but I think. if the teacher that speed teaches this much we are comfortable that we know that this is much this is as much as we need at this level and you know we no need to really go into the nooks and crannies of everything so it's a, it's a big relief to have you you know guiding us into such a big uh, step and uh, such a big career uh, defining uh, moment of our lives so i think i i would really appreciate and i i'm really grateful to have uh, you here and you know it's like you're like a godfather to us to take care and you know guide us <laughs> to what is to be done and when is it, when is it to be done so the timing and everything so I'm, i'm just really grateful <laughs> thank you doctor for wonderful words you made you. you made our day and yes, uh, team will be so very much. happy by hear from hearing from you and yes. uh, it's good and um, okay. and we wish you as a whole as a team we wish you all the very best and all the success thank you years to come thank as you. a great and the chronologist thank you sir thank you thank this you. is to doctor god bless you thank you, thank you.